Hello everyone, my name is Facility Gamer and welcome back to another video. And on today's video, guys, I'm basically gonna go into all the settings that I use to play Fleet the Facility. So make sure to like and subscribe. And now, let's go, let's jump into it. So, the first settings that I will be talking about is the settings that are outside of Roblox, such as this first one that I'm gonna talk about, which is the resolution. I do not use a normal resolution. The resolution I use for my screen is 1280 by 960. This resolution basically scratches your image, with, which makes everything fat. And uh, it, it is pretty cool as Beast because you are able to see the survivors way bigger and everything way bigger, which allows you to clearly see everything that is around you, which I like a lot. So, you know, if the characters are bigger, you will hit better. And that's why I like it. I will leave a tutorial uh, down below on how to scratch it on NVIDIA graphics card and AMD graphics card. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the textures. As you all know, I do remove textures. However, I do keep some of them like glass, sky and water. The reason why I keep glass is because if you remove glass, the glass instead of being transparent, transparent will be become like a block which you can't see through. So keep the glass on. Also, I put the sky so you can see the fog, uh, the normal fog color, because if you remove the sky, you will only see the black fog which I don't really like because it's really dark and uh, you know the new fog is way better and way more OP than the dark one and also I keep water so I can see water in other games which is not that important but yeah this is the textures that I do keep I have a tutorial on how to remove them so yeah I'm also gonna link that tutorial down below the last setting that I'm gonna talk about, which is outside of Roblox, is the loudness equalization. The sad part about this option is that not everybody is allowed to get loudness equalization because of their headphones. Some headphones have loudness equalization option and others don't have loudness equalization option. Which is a bit sad, but you know, if you do have, this is how you get it. Sorry, I am on my garbage microphone because my garbage microphone is the one that has this setting. Now you know why I have a garbage microphone. It's because of this setting. So you right click on your audio thingy. I mean left click, not right click. And you're going to open this option, which is the second one. And there it is. You're going to open this one. And now you're going to click on this one right here, this, this thing. And it will pop up a thingy saying properties of your or, and on my in language is already clear but it will be properties of your headphones and you go to enchantments and you will have this options which one of them is loudness equalization and you will click on this one and you will press apply and bam you have now loudness equalization what this does is it lets you hear every single sound that is a bit more quiet uh louder and all the sounds that are louder you hear them quiet which is basically everything that is lower becomes higher and everything that is higher becomes lower so it allows you to hear steps way better however it it doesn't increase your step range and that's why it's a fair uh setting because it basically makes you hear the quiet stuff louder and instead of you blasting your headphones with modern volume with this option you just need to have like 20 volume and you will hear you will hear uh with 20 percent of volume all the steps that you need and the other players need to blast their headphones which kill their ears to hear all the steps and don't forget that we also have the hit sounds and all and the AZ sounds which just blast your ears completely and with this option it helps a lot of your ears and your health in general other thing I do want to say before we go into Roblox is also my crosser. I know I have a green crosser, however this doesn't give you any advantage. I just wanted to make my crosser green and I made my crosser green just to see the color a bit better. And it helps me a bit. If you want to do custom crosser, just search on the internet. This it's, it doesn't really change anything on your gameplay in general. Now I'm going to go into the settings that I have inside the game. So uh, I have the sound muted on fleet facility you can go on flip some menu and press here to mute because there is noises that you don't need to hear on the match which is like some special effects and some soundtracks that when you put it you can just disable that because that doesn't really help you anything it just pretty much bothers you once you're trying to hear steps or other important things in the game 
there's also my settings, my camera sensitivity, which is 0.0. .0 uh, 599 uh, this the camera sensitivity is really up to you uh, This game is really good with higher sensitivity. However, I cannot play with higher sensitivity It uh, it just confuses my brain. So, you know, this is all up to you the, the camera sensitivity This is the one I use if you want to try it out you all probably gonna say it's so slow Well, however, yeah, this is how I play <laughs> to get that flicks and stuff. I like to use this one uh, my graphics quality is 2 I like the two bars because it loads the glass and uh, you know it doesn't really need to process a lot and I get better performance than FPS in general. Uh, the volume I normally use like 5 um, depending and when I'm sweating of course I'll put like 10 and uh, blast my ears which I don't recommend. Just just use like 5 with the loudness equalization it, it is a good volume. So yeah guys, this is the video. I hope I helped you with this little tutorial. Uh, make sure to know that all the settings, it's really up to you. After you watch this video, you won't become an ultimate war machine or ultimate facility gamer. You gotta of course practice and play the game. All this does is just helps you a little bit seeing things uh, and seeing the, the game a little bit more clear and hear stuff a little bit more clear. I just want to make this tutorial because, you know, a lot of people ask me to, so, you know, why not making a tutorial talking about all the settings I use in the game. I also forgot to mention that I use an FPS unlocker, but, you know, you don't need an FPS unlocker in general to play Fleet of Sodi since this game is not an FPS game. You can play with 60 or more if you want to. That's all up to you. But, yeah, this is pretty much the video. By the way, I dropped some new merch, which is limited time, which is these shirts right here. There are just five robux so make sure to go on my roblox fan group and get yourself some new merch that is from limited time and then you can flex to your friends that oh boy i got the og facility gamer shirt and they didn't so uh yeah if you want to it's just five so uh <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye